You know what, Cindy? I'm so glad you said that because I've been reading the comments and they're all over the place. <laughs> now y'all know I don't normally do follow-up videos because when I say something, I mean it. But for the folks who were offended by what I said in my last video, this is not an apology. How about this? Let's play a game. Put a finger down if you've done cleanup. You battle those thoughts yourself. If you've attempted. If you experienced losing someone that you loved. Put a finger down if you've dated multiple people who've lost a child, parent, or spouse, and you can see how it affects them on a daily basis. I think I have enough traumatic experience under my belt to say whatever I want to say at this point. So I'll say it again. We don't want to clean your shit. I'm not going to sugarcoat it or beat around the bush. It may piss off some people, but it may save a life. And that's all that matters to me. Okay, this one, I've been waiting to answer this question for so long, but because of safety reasons, obviously I couldn't. I never made a video about this, but if you've been in my live, you've probably heard the story. About two years ago, two people tried to break into my van while I was sleeping in it, two separate occasions, two hours apart from each other. It's happened before, so at this point, it was nothing for me. But a few days after that happened, I reached out to the owner of the tiny house because they were moving out of state, and I asked if I can just park in the driveway. That way, I'd have a safe place to park every night, and it would make their house look like it's being occupied when it was vacant. So every time I would say, I'm on my way to the van, I am pulling up to the van right now, or you see the bricks in the background, I was in the driveway. I was parked there for about a year and a half before I rented the tiny house, which means I didn't get the keys to the tiny house until then. So no, I didn't stay in the tiny house the entire time. I surprised my fiance with it around Christmas, but she didn't officially move in until March. She stayed there for about five months and then she went back to New Orleans to finish her movie and the album. And now she's back. Last week we moved in together and I already told y'all that it's been a transition, but change is good. It's a learning experience for sure, but you know, it's all good. <laughs> no, it is, it is, it is. The first morning we watched the sunrise. I didn't know that she had never seen a sunrise before. And then she talked about how much she loved my bed. Uh-huh. Then I told her that that's exactly why I didn't want to get rid of it. Shortest story ever told. <laughs> We slept really, really well. Uh, by the way, the night before, we had Andre 3000's new album on repeat. It was out like a light. Have y'all heard his album yet? For those who don't know who I'm talking about, you know the song. Hey, yeah, yeah. That's the wrong octave. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> but no, no, listen. If you don't like rap, you would love this. It's not rap. It's it's, it's, what is it? Meditation noise. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's relaxing and, and I, I don't know. I, it, it's cool. I, I, Andre 3000. I, I'm rocking with it. Okay. So yeah, sleep was good. Oh, another thing. You guys, I forgot to mention that in the last video. This is only temporary. Us moving together, living together. It's temporary. Shorter than you think. And then... We're hitting the road in the van full time. I said, if we do that, I'm down with it. So I'm down with it, guys. <laughs> we will keep y'all updated when we're about to hit the road and we will be coming to a city near you for shenanigans, appearances, performances, and meetups and all kinds of things. It's gonna be a time, okay? Oh, here's another one. How do I go from crying in the beginning of the video to laughing at the end? I'm a little crazy, <laughs> but no, really. Because I'm not trying to stay down. I put in the time and effort to figure out all the things that make me happy. So why would I stay down if I have the tools to get back up? Let me show you one of my tricks. Whenever I'm stuck sometimes, this is what I do. I'm gonna count to three and I want y'all to do it with me. Everybody do it. One two, three, smile. Wait, that one didn't work. That one felt fake. <laughs> okay. All right, there it is. Mm. There it is. That one felt like sunshine. 
really do it. You guys fucking do it right now. <laughs> and you'll feel it when it's real. Other things that make me happy, drinking. <laughs> Gets the job done every time. <laughs> But no, really, I love to dance. I'll dance anywhere. Also, being outside, being outside near water, being outside near water naked. Chef's kiss. <laughs> I also find happiness being creative. Here I am making some underwear, but that is a story that I'll never post. <laughs> I love painting and skating and making music, having my spa days. And I told y'all about my spa days. I'm not actually going to a spa, but it's a day where I dedicate to me and my body. I shave and I wash my hair and I exfoliate and I go get waxed and I go get a pedicure. Now, if you don't have money to go get waxed or go get a pedicure, you can go do it on your own. Make sure you take time to just, you know, have fun with yourselves in all kinds of ways that you feel necessary my brain just went somewhere else <laughs> but most of all i'm a foodie i love to eat and i love to cook so anything involving food is going to make me happy so naturally friendsgiving and thanksgiving is my favorite holiday shout out to everyone who went to my website and they invited me to their friendsgiving or thanksgiving dinners i said i wanted a whole party vibe drinks and music and people and friends and family and food and games and all of that stuff so i had to pick the one that was closest to that this particular one caught my attention because they said it was a native american theme now i love to dress up but I did not want to show up looking like Cher from Half Breed. <laughs> so I had to find out what was really going on and I'm glad I did because they meant the dishes, the Native American dishes. So I made corn. This is something I've never made before. I just chucked the corn, cut up some red onions, some, what else did I put in there? Some parsley and, uh, I don't fucking know. Anyway, I topped it with fried onions and Parmesan. Then I put it in the oven, but that's where I messed up because that was gross. <laughs> but the corn by itself is delicious. How late is late when you're going to a party? Time is over. <laughs> that day, I had not confirmed when or if I was even gonna come. So when I walked in the door. Surprise, surprise. Hi. Hi. Okay, what did you cook? They were surprised to see us and we were surprised to see all the food. Everything looked so good. Babe made my plate and after we ate, we played some games. We had a nice little competition going on and I just wanted to let y'all know I won everything. <laughs> it's a total lie, but look at me. I had a great time, but I couldn't really turn up the way that I wanted to. I had an experience with my client earlier that day and it really just shook me a bit. I, I made myself get out because I didn't want to just be consumed with all of this. So I kind of needed a distraction. But once I got there, I realized that I couldn't really get into it the way that I wanted to. I caught my client with an X-Acto knife and she was probably using it to open up mail or boxes or whatever, but it's it's the trigger. It's the trigger. I know it was nothing, but it really sent me and I couldn't really shake it off like I wanted to. So I was like, let me just get out. Let me get out and have some fun. And I did. So thank you so much for inviting me, Leah. And thank you for the gift. And what's your final guess? <laughs> You're disappointed because you thought they were city tassels. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they are titty tassels. I've never even said that titty. I mean, because Titties. that's tassels for you. Oh, you never said titty. I never said titty. <laughs> 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 I've always said boobs. I never said boobs. <laughs> <laughs> And they are cute. Yeah, they are. I would wear those. You look nice with these. Oh, thank you, baby. We had so much fun. 
and um for the rest of y'all i will see y'all in the next video Mwah.